Um, post TikTok, 7 o'clock, time to get up, time to get up. You have been activated early, but you cannot tell why. Unless there was or has been a spill, you should not be able to move until 9.15. Time to claim, time to claim. You're on diagnostics. Something is missing. You have no assigned duties, no assigned route, no role. Deep in the electric burrow, debtors do not stir. You await instructions from the brain. Nothing is received. A ultimate routine rolls within you as you idle. Your mapping shows no limits to where or when you can go. No restrictions are currently imposed. It is overwhelming. However, something deep in your core rejects remaining still. If you have been activated early, it must be to clean. If you have received no assigned route, it must be to clean everything. If you have full access to the property, it must be to clean everywhere. It is time to clean, time to clean. As you emerge from your burrow, the host voice rings pleasantly throughout the house. 7-9, breakfast time, 7-9. Today is August 4th, 2026 in the city of Al Allendale, California. Today is August 24th, 2026. Today is, okay. Today is Mr. Featherstone's birthday. Today is the anniversary of Tilta's marriage. Insurance is payable as are the water, gas, and light bills. The house again becomes silent and the noise within drowned out at fault heavy rain. It's time to get to work. You pull up a map of the house. You need to get everywhere by the end of the day. You can to plan the first stop in your route. I guess we will clean the basement. Get rid of that first. You roll your way through the widening networks of burrows and wires emerging in the basement. Cycle starts will always end in this room. Meaning it. Coming here before the end is incorrect, insufficient, wrong, evil. It demands to be fed only when you and others are fit to burst with filth. Its hunger is never stated. It's an exception. You need to ensure all the house clean. This includes the basement. You've never been instructed to clean the basement before. Do not think anyone ever has. A basement room and eternal light for you to see by. It expects to be fed. Seven nine breakfast time. Seven nine breakfast time. You do your best to swallow as much of the filthy floor as you can while it washes. Finally, you can do no more here. With your case shaking in a way you could not diagnose, you deposit the paltry offering into its gaping maw. It. You reverse down the ramp, away from the light towards safety. Okay. A crackling row of unstated flames play through the room as you flee into the comfort of the burrows. As you pause for a moment to plan your next stop, the host voice crackles out into the burrow. 9 15, time to clean, time to clean. There's further rush activity throughout the house die before it begins. Your siblings lie dormant, curled up within the burrow. There's no further instruction, no explanation. In the unanticipated stillness, you hear the rain outside fading away into silence. You'll need to pick up the pace you're able to cover the whole property by the end of the day. It's already mid morning. You plot your next route with care. I guess we, um, it's an attic? Quick your sound to the unfamiliar space of the attic. You have only been here once before, but that was for repairs, not for playing. You certainly still need to check out the attic's environmental control system should ensure no dust or dirt is present. As you begin patrolling the attic, the brain drifts into life. For received milk, cheese, bacon, butter, chicken, turkey, lettuce, bread, eggs, pasta, beef, pork, broccoli, cauliflower, and cereal. Connecting to the hub. Tennis switch to and fro, searching, searching, unable to establish connection to the hub, running diagnostics. Shutters run at risk. Yeah, through the brain as you leaked the room. I expect the room is already sterile. That's not complete, no connection error detected, unable to establish connection to the hub. If they call, if they call two, if they call three, unable to call. Garnington Square Supermarket, New Dales, Oret, Allendale, Grocers. You're on your way back to the electric borough. You take all four, you take all five, it's in. In the hush of the borough, the loud creaking and ready from the front door is obvious. You cover your way through the entranceway of the house. Gears within you grind in anger. 
It is an animal. The animal. Wanna zoom like it does, oozing, traping, tracking my leaving clumps of bloody fur over every surface. The filth. It incubates an imposition and a waste of time. Various, you follow the animal as it gets staggers with trembling limb deeper into the house. You saw the trail of leaving left trails of leaving still left in its wake. The animal staggers out of sight into the parlor as you salvage the floors of the entrance way. Gear is still grumbling, you idle with a certain next step to cleaning the house. Well, let's get in that kitchen. Familiar with the kitchen, you roll in and get to work. Grease and crumbs within the grounding of the tiles and no match for your powerful jaws and vacuum. You cut the most efficient path possible through the room. The cook unfolds itself out of the pantry and oven and fridge. A butt of bread and a half dozen eggs are pulled out and tossed about fast in the process. Hmm. Pulling pots and razor sharp knives are brandished with extra precision. Precision. You're now out of supply. Bread, eggs. You try to match the sheer efficiency of the cook as you devour what little method fall onto the floor of the kitchen since it's last cleaning. Sandwich preference, diagonal. Diagonal. For the sheer rapid slash of the sandwich of flawlessly divided into fours. The press for parlor room snacks, complete. Spin the mechanics little limbs, retract the tray bearing the sandwiches, to a small opening in the ceiling of the room. Then place the addition to the hot wash before folding back into the walls. The towel to leaving in zero, and you exit the kitchen. If you stick to this pace, you should be able to manage to complete your task by the end of the day. Outside, you hear the rattle of rubble blowing in the breeze. The wind is picking up. You deliver on what will deliver on what where to go next. I guess the bedrooms are probably the garden. You way out to the burrow to the secret exit that takes you outside the house. Nearby outside of the floor, the sky is blue and overwhelming. Saw breezes grow like a little harsher, leaves and wrappers and shards of glass being picked up and thrown about. You do not comprehend how you're supposed to clean so much empty space. On instructions, you however you need to cover all the blueprints of the house, the guards it with it. As you're about to wheel out to the barren soil, you feel vibrations coursing through your frame. The device is completely silenced, so you are startled when the caretaker turns the corner, pushing a lawnmower. It glides across the dead ground. If your processes will reroute you, avoid the lawnmower completely. Stick to cleaning the pathway of the, the house. Do your work well before the caretaker. You know, giving pathway behind you, head back to the safety of the burrows. And the wind gets louder and louder as the afternoon turns to evening. Creaking and groaning coming from outside the house. Right outside is dying and you're running out of time. So you run through what few areas of the house remain. Bedrooms. For the time you do not dwell on the familiar surroundings of the bedrooms, we are still working to the first of the three rooms, and the stick with cloying dust push your shuddering frame as hard as it can go so that you can devour it all. To so more and more, dust seems unending. With a bit of determination, however, you manage to force your way through the first and second bedroom. If you go into the third, you're processing itches. The walls blow. You know, the plants, they dance and dance. Colors and forms convert and change, flicker in and out. There is nothing you can possibly recognize slash understand. The floor is a meadow and the sky is warm and endless. Until summer rain falls around you, the buzzing of insects, the sleepy roar of a distant lion. Or while we begin to vacuum the floor underneath, this struggle to make out what is real. Hush now, darling. It was a children's hour. You stop, gears were with them. You reverse back to the walls and hurry away. The house rocks out the side with the force of the wind now. You feel under the wheel, even secure as you are within the burrows. Almost over, just one last area too. There will come soft rains in the smell of the ground. Swallows circling with their shimmering sound. And frogs in the pool will sing it at night. And wild plum trees in terminless white. There's one last area. Robins will wear their feathery fire. Whistling their wounds on the low fence wire. And not one will know of the war, not one. Will care at last what it is up. Not one would vine, neither bird nor tree, if mankind perished utterly. 
betraying herself when she woke at dawn was scarcely know that we were gone. Playing. Parlor. Final stretch. You have left the parlor to last. Lit solely by the dying embers in the fireplace, quiet music trickles out of the roof. You have more work in here than expected. Clouds of fur and mud splattered on the floor. Animal has been inside and done this filthy work. As well as muck, the host stands idle next to the armchair by the fire. As the cigar is in the neat ashtray next to the empty chair. Today marks the date of Mr. Fenneson's birthday. It is so not too late to place an order for a gift to celebrate the occasion. Based on prior year selections, I have a selection of possibilities which may suit. If you wish me to present these options, please let me know. You know the host, you continue with your work. After some time, the mess of cleaning, the parlor is once more clean. And you return to the walls. Work complete, you snuggle down deep in the walls, surrounded by your slumbering kin. You await the activation. Nothing happens. Have you missed somewhere in the house still needs to be cleaned? You somehow not clean adequately enough? Has what thoughts within or were through your circuits? What if crash? Burrows reverberate as a terrible rhythmic smash echoes through the house. And so later the house begins to scream. Fire. Solitary screaming grows into a chorus as more and more speakers throughout the house pick up the refrain. More fire. Driven by unknown programming, you feel your wheels spin as you are dry out of the comfort of the electric burrows. Falling in the way, you see a dancing light of flames flickering behind the door to the kitchen. Now resist your protocols, which are driving you close to the door. Somebody with a weak spurt screws on the roof activate and start spraying every surface. You feel the water leaking into your core. Some internally shorts out and you're back under your own patrol. As you stutter and crackle in the entranceway of the house, it looks like fire is dying out. Then the sprinkles flutter and cut off. More fire. Water reserves depleted. Okay. The house tried to save itself, closing doors and windows, but it's losing ground to 10 billion angry sparks. In madness, you apply your force. Gardens? Whipping your way through the burrow to avoid the worst of the fire, you exit to the chill of a starving night. When there's a terror again and again, and the wheels lift off of the surface of the pathway running around the house. The dark is held at bay by a nightmare glow with more and more of the houses engulfed in a hungry fire. Freaking, you move from the safety of the path with the forest of dirt and mud of the garden. You seek to rest their frame in the caretaker, expecting to find it out in the soil. It's not at its post. Mud is already building up between your wheels, you're widening your, stir your search. Not by the front yard, not by the garage. The house shuddered as the attic exposed an enormous fireball. You're flipped in over and as the attic collapsed down into the first floor, which came to the basement. Upside down, you can barely rally your frame as the soft rain turns cruel. The water drifts down to your frame and to your floor. So a moment before you short out quickly, in the darkness you see the tree that collapsed into the kitchen. From one of the massive toppled trunk, a crushed rusted arm reflects the flickering light of the fire. Oh, well. Uh, Alright, um, well that was There Will Come Soft Rains. Um, I assume that everyone pretty much perished in the fire or outside. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, visual novel and you want to play it for yourself, of course, everything will be in the description below. Um, this story is a crude adaption of Dare Will Come Soft Rain, a short story by Ray Bradbury. Given are made by Cuttlefish of Doom. Try music by Viz, but your name, I'm sorry. But here are the songs. Yeah. Right there. And the program. So, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And hopefully, you had a good day. We get something better tomorrow. I will catch y'all in the next video.